We are not zombies, but craftsmanship. Our scripture reading today comes to us from the book of Ephesians, the letter to Ephesus, chapter 2, verses 7 through 10. So that in the ages to come he might show the immeasurable riches of his grace and kindness toward us in Christ Jesus. For by grace you have been saved through faith, and this is not your own doing. It is a gift of God, not the result of works, so that no one may boast. For we are what he has made us, created in Christ Jesus for good works, which God prepared beforehand to be our way of life. Ephesians is purported to be written by the Apostle Paul, but the language of Ephesians is different than the seven official letters of Paul. So it's someone that's in thinking the similar ways as Paul, but elaborates greatly on Paul's existing work. And chapter two is a beautiful unfolding of the status of us who were frankly described at the beginning of the chapter as alive, but dead, dead to our sins. Is, is the description made to us. We were living life, but we weren't living in a relationship with God. Sort of like zombies, alive, but not alive to the fullness that could be expressed with a relationship with God. And clearly what has happened is through the resurrection of Jesus Christ, we too can obtain this new life. We can grab a hold of becoming a new creation. And that God did this. It wasn't, for us, wasn't our doing. We can't do this kind of work. God did this. And the evidence of that is what we do with it after we receive it. After we have grabbed on to this new creation in Christ Jesus. Because it's for a purpose. We are the work of his hands. We are being recrafted, so to speak. And the words here are associated with poetry, that we are poetic in that sense of creativity now imbued in us to do the good work that God has prepared for us to do. I like the way the message translates the chapter, the verse 10, to join him in the work he does, the good work he has gotten ready for us to do, work we had better be doing. Because the gift of salvation is for a specific purpose. Think of our lives as flashlights. Now, we're useless without batteries. A flashlight that's basically a dead object without power of some sort. Think of God as that power source has been installed in us. But now a flashlight's only good if it shines. And now we have the ability to switch on or off to do the good work that God has intended. For this purpose, we have been saved. We've been provided for, and whatever God is calling us to do, God will give us what is necessary to complete it. Now, that doesn't mean that we get to do whatever we want to do. It's more a case of the work that God calls us to do will have the provisions necessary to be accomplished if we accept and do the work we had better be doing. So, today, are you a walking zombie or are you a recreation? God's poetry in motion, ready to do the good works God has already called you to do. We have better be doing it. Let us pray. God, thank you for carefully creating me. I was not a mistake. I am a creation you thoughtfully designed. Thank you. Today, please help me to see myself the way that you see me. 
Show me how I can take part in the plans you are preparing me for. In Jesus' name, amen. Blessings to you and yours this day, and always, goodbye.